Thank you for being with us on the Feast of Pope St. Paul VI. Our top story tonight, the fate of Donald Trump is in the hands of a jury. Deliberations in the former president's criminal trial are now underway. The jurors received instructions from the judge this morning, a judge who Trump today called very conflicted and corrupt. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen? Tracy, as former President Donald Trump waits to see what the jury will decide, his rival for the White House hits the campaign trail. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris flew to Pennsylvania today, the battleground state there, as they try to persuade black voters to support them in November. Election Day now just over five months away. As President Joe Biden left the White House heading for Marine One and taking no questions, his main opponent for the Oval Office, former President Donald Trump, now waiting to see what the historic deliberations in his hush money trial will reveal. In Manhattan at the courthouse, he invoked a well-known Catholic saint. Mother Teresa could not beat these charges. These charges are rigged. The whole thing is rigged. The whole country is a mess between the borders and Fake elections. Prosecutors say Trump falsified business records to cover up hush money payments tied to an alleged scheme to bury stories that might have torpedoed his 2016 White House bid. He has denied any wrongdoing and pleaded not guilty to all 34 felony counts. But we'll see. We'll see how we do. It's a very disgraceful situation. Every single legal scholar and expert said this is no case. As Trump fights for his future, President Biden fighting for the black vote. He and Vice President Kamala Harris launching a new summer-long black voter outreach effort with a visit to Girard College in Philadelphia. And then Trump tells you he's the greatest president. I love this one. He says he's the greatest president for black people in the history of America, including more than Abraham Lincoln. The push comes as Biden has seen his solid support among black voters show signs of erosion. An AP NORC poll published in March showed Biden's approval had dropped among black adults from 94 percent when he started his term to 55 percent. If you vote in 2024, we're going to make Donald Trump a loser again. Now, President Biden's son also goes on trial Monday in Delaware. Hunter Biden accused of lying on a federal gun purchase form when he claimed he was not using drugs. And just as that case begins, President Biden is set to travel to France for D-Day commemorations. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.